Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a double exposure style video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me. So since we're doing this all in Premiere Pro, we're not going to After Effects and we're not really shooting with green screen or anything like that. In order for this to work well, you're going to want to pick a clip that already has really good black to white contrast between your subject and the background. So this clip right here of these buildings and people silhouette is almost the perfect clip for this. I also used in the beginning example clip a not so perfect clip and that's why you saw that some of the trees and building from the original shot still came through in the final video. So keep that in mind since we're doing this all in Premiere Pro and we're not planning out with green screens beforehand, it might not be perfect with every single clip and it might be more of a double exposure abstract style effect rather than a clean cut double exposure. So with that said and understood, let's drag our initial clip onto the timeline. So this is going to be the clip that we're going to be using to make the silhouette and fill in with another image's exposure. So there's actually a little bit of trickiness when it comes to the organization of these layers. You see on the left hand side, I have a few tracks. By default, you should have one, two or three. But if you ever want to create more tracks, you can just drag your clip up onto the new track and Premiere will just create it for you. You can also right click and add tracks. So in the final effect, we're going to end up with four layers. So I want to put this clip at least four tracks above everything else. So right now it's on track four because we're going to build out three different tracks underneath. So first let's create our very basic double exposure fill here. So I've got this clip, which is the image is going to be our outline. And then let's drag another clip, which we want to fill it in with. So this one I'm dragging underneath the first clip and I'm also leaving a space because we're going to put another detail in there after. So on the silhouette clip, we're going to click and go to effects and search for one called threshold. It should be in the stylized video effects folder. And what this does is, is it just automatically maps everything to black and white in a clean solid state. Now this works pretty perfectly on the default settings, but you can adjust the threshold level in the effects control panel to be more or less depending on the details that you want to bring out in the original clip. So just to show you guys, for example, what that would look like on the photographer girl clip that is not so perfect. You drag the threshold on there. It still gives you a pretty nice black and white silhouette and you can adjust the level to be as you like it. So now that we've got a solid black and white silhouette, we want to go to the city clip and search for an effect called track matte key. This is in the keying video effects folder. So when we click and drag this onto the city clip, we can tell Premiere Pro to change the matte that we're going to use to video track four or whatever track that your silhouette is on and tell it to composite using the matte luma, which just means take a look at the brightness of the original clip and that's what you're going to put this clip onto. So it's going to fill this city into the bright parts of the original clip. And this is an interesting effect as well, but what we want to do is fill the shadows. So just press reverse and it will reverse everything. And your image is now in the shadows of the silhouette of the clip on top. And this is the foundation of the effect done right here. But let me show you how to fill in the background with another color and add a little bit of detail from the original shot back into the clip. That's why we left some spacing. So let's change that black background to be just the softer, lighter background. So I'm going to go to my project media bin and go to file, new, color, matte. And here you can pick any color that you want just to create a solid color layer. So I'll just use a very light tan or beige color for this example. Press OK and you should see it pop up in your project media bin. And all you have to do is drag this underneath your composition so far. So that's why we left a space there as well. So now I've got the color underneath everything and that's why it's filling in the background. And a nice little touch you can do depending on what color you chose is go into the Lumetri color panel, go into the vignette section and you can add a little bit of shadow vignette, a little nice touch which adds a sense of lighting on your background. Now we want to fill in the final and third spot which is to bring some detail back from the original clip. So what I'm going to do is take our original clip back on. So this one doesn't have the threshold layer on there at all or anything. Now in this clip as well, we only want the details of the silhouette. So some of this lighting on the building, some of this color that's in the bottom right, but we don't want the background anyway. That's just a bunch of white that's going to make it hard for us to blend 
without impacting the color mat that we put on the bottom. So we basically just have to use that same track mat key, which we can point to the clip on top, which has the threshold effect on it. So since we already did it earlier, we can just go to our city shot, click the track mat key, press command C to copy that effect since it's pointing at video track four anyways, and then paste it again. And basically what that does is cuts out the background. And now we can place this video clip on a blending mode like screen. And it just brings in and adds on top some of the details of the lighter portions of this clip. So you see some color and some faint hints of the original, which helps sell the final effect. If you're wondering why we went through the trouble of using that track mat key instead of just putting it on screen anyway, it's because this is how it looks like with the track mat key, and this is how it looks like without it. And you can see that the background gets washed out because it's blending the whole clip instead of cutting out just this portion. So from here, if you wanted, you could select all of the clips, right click and nest them, and it'll group them into one sequence that you can apply further edits and edit how you want in your final project. And if you want, you can always double click them and it'll open them all back up for you to rearrange and tweak. It may have been a little bit confusing how I built it out, but that's because I wanted to explain to you what was going on. If you wanted to continue doing this for future clips, you could just slap everything on there, one, two, three, four, and apply the effects, and it doesn't matter what order you do it in. But that's basically one way that you can easily create a double exposure effect without having to do any intricate masking, shooting on green screens beforehand, and still get a decent result depending on how fitting your original clip was. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below, subscribe to the channel if you're not so you don't miss any of my new videos, and go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.